Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I have a fountain pen here that is actually already old, but it's still quite new in the range. Because this is a Kaweco Supra Black. This is a versatile fountain pen from Kaweco. And of course it comes in the usual Kaweco box. The fountain pen itself is relatively simple at first glance. No decoration on the outside, except for the white Kaweco lettering on the black barrel. At second glance, however, the offset of the diameter in the middle of the fountain pen is noticeable. The ends are rounded. The Kaweco logo can be seen in white on the finial. There's a small thread at the barrel end. You won't find a clip here. The cap can be unscrewed. Underneath we have the grip section in the same style as a barrel and the large silver nib. The fountain pen is a cartridge fountain pen. And it can be unscrewed even further, because the middle section can be removed. This means we have two different lengths with one and the same fountain pen. Let's take a look at the nib. This is neatly finished and it has a typical Kaweco design with its logo. And of course a look at the Kaweco lettering. And a look at the thread. It's not sharp, so the fountain pen can be gripped there without any problems. But that's not necessary. The fountain pen sits well in the hand, even in large hands. It is long enough and has a neutral balance. This results in a pleasant writing experience. Incidentally, the cap can be screwed onto the barrel end. Too much effort for me personally, but the feel in the hand is still good. Even if the right distribution has naturally shifted toward the end. Oh yes, with the middle section removed, the fountain pen doesn't feel good in my hand at all. However, it is still suitable for taking notes. In the writing test, the Supra also demonstrated very pleasant writing behavior. This fountain pen is a fine nib, which provides pleasant feedback. The nib is even capable of reasonable line variants. The Monteverde Ruby is filled here, by the way. I have to say, I kind of like using a red ink in a matte black fountain pen. And writing here with this matte black fountain pen is pleasant. Even with a fine nib, it's very pleasant to write with. But let's take a look at the fountain pen in comparison. First with another Supra and a Lilliput. The other Supra is a breath version, which has already taken on an interesting patina. As we can see, the dimensions of the Supra are of course identical, and that the fountain pen is a very good likeness of the smaller Lilliput. With the centerpiece removed, we also have almost the same length. As you know, the technical data is normally given in the video description. This time too, but I would like to show the differences in weight between these two versions of the Supra in particular. They are obvious. A comparison with the Visconti Homo Sapiens, an Otto Hood Design 03, an online vision, a Diplomat Magnum, and a Lamy Safari. Here we have roughly the same length as others. The fountain pen only looks a little shorter when screwed shut. In a second comparison, the fountain pen here is compared with a Diplomat Nexus, a Cross Century 2, a Platinum Plesia, a Cleo Scriben Classic Palladium, 
and the pelican purer. The Kaviko Supra Black stands out here in the comparison because of the simplicity that it express. Despite the change in diameter in the middle, it is simple. It is more striking because it has no clip. Even without the cap, which is screwed on, the fountain pen is still quite plain. But with the removable middle section, it is something special. And that was such an old design. According to Kaviku, the Supra is based on the Lilliput, so the relationship is more than clear. But the Supra was already designed in 1920. That makes it over 100 years old. Not this exact fountain pen, but the model. So what we have here is an old fountain pen, brand new. Because the Supra Black is quite new in the Kaviku range. It is made of anodized aluminium. This has a slightly brushed look, so it's rather matte. It also ensures that the pen does not become slippery. It sits comfortably in the hand and is easy to grip. Also, the grip section is made of metal, it is not really slippery in my opinion. It's funny that you can make the Supra shorter. Not relevant for me, as it is then becomes too short for me. But it is something else. Of course, the fountain pen is then also lighter. But thanks to the aluminium, not as noticeable as with the brass version. If you already know a Supra, you don't know the Supra Black. The shape is the same. But the difference in weight alone, compared to the brass or stainless steel version, makes it different. The Kaviko Supra Black is a pleasant writing fountain pen. It's really fun. It's a fountain pen that is also easy to take with you. Because it is made of metal and it has a screw-on cap. This makes a fountain pen easy to use in everyday life. But it also looks good in a more formal setting. All in all, a very nice fountain pen in my opinion. What do you think of it? Or do you even have a Supra? Many thanks for watching. See you next time.